Dear student, welcome to EPG Partshala. Today I am here to present my module, Soil Biological Properties. To start with, as we all know that there are three main properties of soil, physical, chemical and soil biota. The soil environment is steaming with biological life and is one of the most abundant and diverse ecosystem on the earth. Soil biota, it includes flora, fauna and microorganisms helping the soil development, structure and productivity. The soil contain a vast array of life forms ranging from sub microscopic to large burrowing animals. Soil organisms break down organic matter making nutrient available for uptake by plants and other organisms. The nutrients store in the bodies of the soil organisms also prevent nutrient loss from leaching. Microbes produce waste products that helps to maintain soil structure and the earthworm helps to distribute these beneficial waste products through the soil profiles. Soil hosts a complex web of organisms which interact with each other having influence on soil revolution and specific soil physical and chemical property. For example, microbial activity increase the mineralization of soil by degrading organic matter. Also helps in forming a stable soil aggregates whereas earthworm will increase the infiltration rate of soil by the process of pore formation. Without microbes, soil would be a virtually inert body. They help in aggregation of soil providing the right combination of air water to plant roots which will decrease the susceptibility, susceptibility of soil to erosion. Soil flora and fauna are the important part of the or the important property of the soil. Plant act on the soil environment by adding its structure and porosity and in supplying soil organic matter via shoot and root residue. Root channels can remain open for some time after the root decomposes allowing as avenue for water and air movement. Root also acts to stabilize soil through aggregation and intact root system can decrease soil loss. The rhizosphere, the narrow zone of the soil directly surrounding plants roots is the most biological active region of the soil. It contains slowed root cells and secreted chemicals that provides organisms with food. On the other hand, soil fauna works as soil engineers initiating the breakdown of dead metal, ma dead plant and animal material, ingesting and processing large amount of soil, burrowing biopores for water and air movement, mixing soil layers and increasing aggregation. Important soil fauna include earthworm, insects, nematodes, arthropods and rodents. Earthworm are considered one of the most important soil fauna. Through the process of burrowing, they provide channels that increase soil porosity and water infiltration process. They also increase further biotic activity by breaking down large amount of soil organic matter through digestion and supplying nutrient rich secretions in their cast to the soil. Furthermore, earthworms are able to build soil by moving between 1 to 100 tons of subsoil per acre per year to the surface, possibly helping offset loses by erosion. Soil microorganisms are invisible to the naked eye, however, they affect their effect on numerous soil properties are far ranging. Microorganisms represent the largest and most diverse biotic group in soil with an estimated 1 million to 1 billion microorganisms per gram of agriculture topsoil. Microbes aid soil structure by physically surrounding particles and glu gluing them together through uh, the secretion of organic compounds mainly sugars. This contributes to the formation of granular structure in the A horizons where microbial population found to be greatest. Soil microbes include bacteria, protozoa, algae, fungi and actinomycetes. 
Among these bacteria are the smallest and the most diverse soil microbes. Bacteria are important in soil organic matter decomposition, nutrient transformation and small clay aggregations. Some bacteria carry out very special roles in the soil such as rhizobia, the nitrogen fixing bacteria associated with legume roots. Protozoa are mobile organisms that feed on other microbes and soil organic matter. Algae like plants photosynthesize and are found. Soil microorganisms are invisible to the however, their effects are enormous on soil properties far far range, ranging to our imagination. Microorganisms represent the largest and most diverse biotic group in soil with an estimated 1 million to 1 billion microorganisms per gram of agriculture topsoil. Microbes aid soil structure by physically surrounding particles and gluing them together through the secretion of organic compounds mainly sugar. This contributes to the formation of granular structure in the A horizon where microbial populations are greatest. Some bacteria carry out very special role in the soil such as rhizobia, the nitrogen fixing bacteria associated with the legume roots, protozoa they are mobile organisms that feed on other microbes and soil organic matter. Their algae like plants photosynthesize and are found variably and they may only be economical for small scale and high value crops. Therefore, improving and maintaining existing mycorrhizal population by increasing soil organic matter content, reducing tillage and other soil disturbance and eliminating long fallow periods may work best for encouraging mycorrhizal symbiosis in agriculture. Biological activity. Soil biological activity is controlled by many factors in the soil. Residue and soil organic matter quantity and quality primarily nitrogen content are major limiting factors for soil organism activity. Other soil factors that promote activity are adequate level of oxygen, near neutral pH, temperature between 85 to 95 Fahrenheit and 50 to 60 percent moisture. Combination of these factors will result in maximum activity. Although some organisms have adapted to extreme environmental conditions, overall activity generally diminishes when conditions fall outside of these ideal ranges. For example, if a soil becomes too wet, oxygen diffuses is impeded and overall activity slows down since oxygen is required by most organisms. Management practices can affect soil organisms activity through changes in aeration and structure, cropping system and the inputs. Tillage typically accelerates short term bacteria and protozoa activity by increasing aeration and breaking up residue into smaller particles that are more exposed to microbial attack. Conversely, fungal biomass has been shown to increase in Conservation tillage system, possibly as a result of less tillage disruption, fungal hyphal networks increases soil organic matter level. Earthworm pollution, population also tends to increase with practices that increase soil organic matter level and minimize soil disturbances. Crop rotation system may support more organism diversity and activity than monoculture system due to increased and more diverse residues and specific interaction occurring between certain plants and organisms. Fertilizers application can also influence soil organism population and activity. Biotic activity in soil with low fertility or SOM content will likely increase with the addition of fertilizers, particularly those containing nitrogen population will eventually stabilize as nitrogen is consumed. In addition, certain fertilizers applications such as the injection of anhydrous ammonia can temporarily harm some soil organisms at the injection site. 
however most organism population will be rebound with time during the last decades of the 20th century there are may, there was an awareness of the importance of the soil as an environment component and recognizing the need to maintain or improve its capacity to allow its performance to various functions at the same time there was a confirmation that the soil is not an inexhaustible resource and if used improperly or poorly managed its characteristics can be lost in a short period of time with limited opportunities for regeneration next is soil organic matter on the basis of organic matter content soils are characterized as mineral or organics mineral soils forms most of the world's cultivated land and may contain from a trace to 30% organic matter organic soils are naturally rich in organic matter principally for climatic reasons although they contain more than 30% organic matter it is precisely for this reason that they are not vital cropping soils this soil bulletin concentrates on the organic matter dynamics of cropping soil in brief it discusses circumstances that deplete organic matter and the negative outcome of this the bulletin then removes on to more proactive solutions the soil organic matter and its composition is shown in the figure it reviews a basket of practice in order to show how they can increase organic matter content and discusses the land and cropping benefits that then occur soil organic matter is an material produced originally by living organisms that is returned to the soil and goes through the decomposition process most soil organic matter originates from plant tissues plant residues contain 60 to 90% moisture the remaining dry matter consists of carbon oxygen hydrogen nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium and magnesium although present in small amount these nutrients are very important from the soil fertility point of view and for the management of soil soil organic matter consists of variety of components these includes varying in proportion and many intermediate stages and active organic fraction including microorganisms uh, and resistant or stable organic matter also referred to as humus forms and classification of soil organic matter have been described for practical purposes organic matter may be divided into above ground and below ground fractions above ground organic matter comprises plant residues and animal residues below ground organic matter consists of living soil fauna and microflora partially decomposed plant and animal residues and humic substances the carbon to nitrogen ratio is also used to indicate the type of material and ease of decomposition hard woody material with a high cn ratio being more resilient than soft leafy material with a low carbon to nitrogen ratio organic matter within the soil serves several functions from a practical agriculture standpoint it is important by the two reasons as a revolving nutrient fund and as an agent to improve soil structure maintain tilth and minimize erosion as a revolving nutrient fund organic matter serves two main functions as soil organic matter is derived mainly from plant residues it contains all the essential plant nutrients therefore accumulated organic matter is a storehouse of plant nutrients the stable organic fractions absorbs and hold nutrients in a plant available form organic matter releases nutrients in a plant available form depends upon the decomposition process in order to maintain this nutrient cycle system the rate of organic matter addition from organic uh, crop residues manure and any other sources must equal the rate of decomposition and take into account the rate of uptake by the plant and loses by leaching and erosion now the role of organic matter in the soil fertility the components and the function of the soil organic matter has been shown in the figure the organic matter forms a very small but an important portion and it is obtained from dead plants roots 
crop residues, various organic manures like farmyard manure, compost, green manure, fungi, bacteria, worms, insects, etc. Now the function of organic matter, firstly it will directly improve the physical condition of the soil, particularly the structure. The decaying organic matter acts as a food material for bacteria and other organisms. Pres presence of organic matter dissolves many insoluble soil minerals and make them available to the pl plants. It plays an important role in the nutrient supplying power of soil as it has got high cation exchange capacity. Further, it increases the water holding capacity of the soil. It also improves the aeration and infiltration capacity of the soil. It also tries to regulate the soil temperature. It serves an important source of certain plant or food elements like nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, etc. The buffering nature of organic matter is considered to be advantageous in residue management of pesticides, herbicides and other heavy metals. From the lecture on soil biological property, it has been clear that soil biota is an ideal example of system ensuring sustainable functioning of undisturbed ecosystem during long periods. Their essential role is related to the organi organization of cycles of elements like carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, etc., which make it possible to repeatedly use the limit, limited amount of each resources. Soil biota is mainly related the mineralization of organic matter and the retention of nutrients within the ecosystem. Soil organisms requires an environment to live in and function properly and efficiently. For example, too dry and too wet conditions will be harmful to them which will result in the decrease of the plant nutrient availability and formation of organic matter. Therefore, Creating a soil habitat is the first step to manage soil biological properties for long term soil quality and productivity. The linkage between soil organisms and soil functions are incredibly complex to understand. Continued research is going on to understand the interaction between soil management practices and the soil biological, chemical and physical properties of the soil and also to understand how soil biological components affect the environment and planet they share with us. Understanding the soil biological property enable us to manage the soil, but also to pre no, but also for prevention and control of crop pest and disease. If we summarize the whole process in one line, then these organisms will work for farmers benefit if simply managed for their survival.